so if you're like me, um, you like to shop. I think what a lot of people don't know about shopping is that most of our clothes are not well made. Well as in ethically made or sustainably made. And there are a lot of problems within the fashion industry that people don't know about and people aren't talking about. So consumers are not buying good clothing. So if you care about the environment and you care about fashion, this is a video for you. <laughs> and if not, then goodbye. So first I want to talk about what like the problems actually are within the fashion industry that like people are not talking about because the more you know the more reason you have to shop sustainably or even ethically which means workers are treated well and the whole process of clothing is environmentally and morally good. Cheap fast fashion is so popular right now and, and there's so much buzz about it that it's only going to keep getting more popular and if people are not talking about the negative effects then nobody's going to know Know that they're actually doing a lot of harm by supporting that industry. So some fun facts for you guys. Cotton actually uses a quarter of all of the pesticides in the United States which is crazy because the more that you buy inorganic cotton the more you are whether you know it or not supporting the pesticide pollution and that has a domino effect for a lot of other problems. I'm sure you've heard of the bees. Um, Another fun fact, polyester is actually made from petroleum. That whole process of making polyester is actually very harmful in the environment. So we need to be conscious that like, maybe we don't buy polyester or we find alternatives or we buy less. And companies are just overproducing these cheap fast fashion and the rates people are buying them are not as fast as how quickly they're making them and so a lot of the clothes that are made and don't get bought just end up in the landfill like they don't even go to secondhand sellers a lot of it is trash and those are only a few problems with the process of making clothes so basically the reason i'm making this video is because consumers drive this industry like it matters what we're buying because companies are going to pay attention to what we're looking for and what we're buying and they're going to cater to that in order to stay afloat if people are buying sustainable clothing and organic material then companies are going to be like oh let's do that like let's start selling this so we could as consumers just being more conscious and making better choices with our clothing and our purchases we can actually make the difference and reorient the industry which sounds crazy but every little thing helps so as consumers we can buy less that doesn't mean holding ourselves back from the things we really want but it does mean looking more into quality over quantity because when you buy better clothes that last longer you're not buying all of this fast fashion all the time because you have clothes that sustain longer amounts of time, maybe get clothes that will like surpass fashion trends, even by extending like the life of the clothes you already have, even just keeping them and wearing them and using them a little bit longer, you can like significantly lower your impact. Another option is to shop organic. A lot of companies actually sell organic clothing. I know Walmart is like the largest buyer of organic cotton, which is like Kind of random. There are also companies that use recycled materials like Patagonia who like makes their jackets out of recycled soda bottles and just like doing a little bit of research before you go shopping like being conscious of the companies that you're shopping at and seeing what their impact is what their intention is where they're getting their clothes from and I know that it can be tedious to be like oh I have to research when I go shopping but when you research once and you find companies that you know you trust or you know are selling the products that are ethical or sustainable, all you have to do is research it once and then you're good to go. Like you just memorize the companies that you like or the products that you like and then it's easy. You just have to put in a little bit of work at the beginning and then it, like it adds a lasting impact because it becomes habit. Another one which is my favorite option is buying secondhand. You can get really great clothing that people just don't want anymore secondhand and not all of it is actually used. Some people might just like not want something that they never even touched. I love going to stores like Goodwill. I love raiding my friends closets when they want to give stuff away. I love giving my stuff away. You know like you don't even have to be buying secondhand but be conscious of that option and sell things online. There are so many different apps that you can like sell your clothing on or find used clothing on for such discounted prices and by buying secondhand you are not 
not supporting the fast fashion industry and you are giving old clothes a new life and therefore expanding its life and keeping it out of the landfill. That's my little spiel. I'm very passionate about this. I think fashion is one of the best ways that you can express yourself and not everybody feels that way but I'm assuming if you're watching this that you probably do. And so I wanted to put together a little lookbook um, of my sustainable clothing outfits and so I put together a few outfits mostly from Goodwill but also featuring companies like H&M that are very conscious of sustainable fashion and offer options and support awareness. So the only garments that I'm actually pointing out where they came from are the ones that are sustainable. And I also try to use outfits with options like secondhand options that you can find at basically any thrift store. Like I always look for oversized sweaters and like plaid t-shirts, old jeans, stuff like that. Thing and probably the most important thing you can do as a consumer is to just keep talking about it whether that be share this video or um, express these ideas to your friends or make a list of companies that you would like to start shopping at or you know anything just keep talking about it tell people where you got your clothes <laughs> you know <laughs>